Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'm going to compare the Google Home with the Raspberry Pi version of the Google Home. Now, if you want to know how to make your own Raspberry Pi Google Home, I will put a link below uh, from Android Authority. It's a blog post from Android Authority on how to make this without actually buying that Magpie kit. So a couple weeks ago, there was a big hoo-ha over this Magpie issue 57 magazine that had a kit to build the uh, Google Home device on a Raspberry Pi. It included a button and um, a speaker and a microphone. So um, there was only seven issues sent to each bookstore here in the US or something. So it was impossible to get. So Android Authority put out a blog post on how to do this without actually having to have the magazine. So if you're, um, so I'll link to that below in a blog post. Now, if you want to see me do it, um, I'm happy to do it. Just leave me a comment below and let me know, Hey, you want to see me uh, do this project? So obviously I've already done the project. I bought the a microphone from Amazon. I'll put a link to it below. And um, I already had the speaker and the microphone from the Alexa Pi project that you uh, may or may not have seen me do. So this uh, this little uh, device here, I can run it as an Alexa or I can run it as a Google Home. So now I've already published a video where I compared the Alexa Raspberry Pi to an actual Amazon Echo. And now I'm gonna compare the Google Home to my Raspberry Pi Google Home or, or Google Assistant, however you wanna call it. Let's test them uh, first, all right? So I'm gonna start with, uh, okay, Google, what is 10 times 57? The answer is 570. Okay, pretty simple. Now on uh, this device here, I have to press the button and then say my command, all right? So I'll show you how to, I'll show you that right now. What is 57 times 58? The answer is 3,306. Okay, so they do calculations exactly the same way. So that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll do the weather on this one. What is the weather like outside right now? Currently in Atlanta, it's 87 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 86 and a low of 66. So they've got the same basic content here. Um, okay, Google, um, where is the closest pizza joint to me? The address for Vinny's New York Pizza Midtown is Vinny's New York Pizza Midtown, 860 Peachtree Street Northeast, Atlanta, Georgia, 30308. Okay. Where is the closest theater to me? The address for Alliance Theater is Alliance Theater, 1280 Peachtree Street, Northeast, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Okay, so they both have location services, too. That's pretty cool. Okay, Google, uh, what's next on my calendar? Your next meeting is called PRR Training and is tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Uh, what I love about the Google Home is that you can ask it to translate things for you. How do I say, where is the bathroom in French? Ah, so simple. All right. So, um, so that's the similarities between my Raspberry Pi, Google Home, and the actual device. So now we're going to go into some of the differences. Uh, so let's start with news. Okay, Google, what's in the news? Here's the latest news from Sienna and News Briefing at 6.54 a.m. today. Good morning. I'm Jeremy Roth, and these are your CNN headlines for Friday, okay. June second. Okay, Google. Just like that. Stop. Okay, so we'll 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 try this on the homemade version now. What is the latest news? Sorry, news playback isn't supported on this device yet. Darn. All right. So maybe maybe tomorrow, maybe later. Um, I'm also I also have a, a lamp on my smart home devices. So let's try that. Okay, Google, turn on tower lamp. Sure, turning the tower lamp on. All right, that's great. Turn off tower lamp. You got it, turning the tower lamp off. Oh, yes, that, that worked. So the trick is that I wasn't able to set it up on, on the app just with this device. I was able to set it up once I got this device. So, uh, so that was the first time I did that. Yay, that worked. Um, let's, let's talk about music now. I mean, that's what Amazon Echo is really, really well known for is uh, their library of music. So let's see. Okay, Google, play a song. Sure, here's some music on Google Play Music. 
Okay, and you know what's really cool? If you go like this, mm -hmm. you just touched it, it stops. Play a song. Sorry, play music is not yet supported. Oh, play music is not yet supported. Darn. All right, so, um, so yeah, this is this has been a lot of fun playing with uh, these two devices. Uh, if you want to see me uh, make this device, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, and I'll put on the list of videos to make for you guys. Um, but otherwise, hey, I hope you enjoyed my comparison of the Google Home to the Raspberry Pi Google Assistant. Thanks for watching.